So down we go to June. Uh, that depends. <coughs> Norfolk Masters? It was my end of my issue. Yeah. And Sussex. And Sussex, that's right. This is quite a busy time. You'll have to read your magazines and, and choose what suits you. And July, if you're going to anything international, it's usually there or here. So this is a peak. That's when you're really aiming to be, it's somewhere sort of, not the very beginning of this and probably not the very end of August. But those who are very serious, that, that's your big one there. Then you get a little bit of a holiday and you come into September and it all starts again. Now having had August to play around, maybe you've been lucky and you've had a bit of a swim somewhere, but usually you haven't, and you're thinking, oh, and then I'm on the stuff again, all that stuff. But there's a lovely meet in Barnet, which is only sprints. And it's a really easy way to get back in. And Barnet's not that bad. It's, it's oh, a couple of, Barnet Cock Tall, Cock Simples, is an excellent <coughs> Very well run. If you want to see how to run a meet, you go talk to Ian Woolard and his crew. It's slick, it's fun, it's fast, and he's up in a little box looking down, commentating on things. And you know who's who. He'll say, in lane one is done so, and then all the way through, oh, they're finished, sorry. And then you go on again, because that sprint meet is quick. But it's a really easy way to get back in when you're thinking to yourself, oh, training, I don't know. Well, you know, you've done all that. But this is a nice, a nice little start. September. Oh, now we get to another important one. I left out, that's what's here in July, the Barnet Distance Meet. <coughs> now, anybody who's um, perhaps not keen on sprinting too fast, as we get a little bit older, as Lynn was saying, I did like this, a little bit older. Um, these explosive events are not quite as good for us, you know, to, to get your heart going, especially when you're standing on the block thinking, this is a one <coughs> start race, you know, you're not allowed to do a false start. Uh, it really gets a pulse going, you don't want to do a, f a flyer because then the whole thing's lost, but you don't want to be left behind. You really are quite tense. So a sprint, which gives you no time to correct anything that's gone wrong, is a bit tough on the aging body. So possibly a breaststroke race, if you like breaststroke, over 200 meters is quite nice. Or the longer ones, the 400 and the 800 freestyle, they really are nice. You get time to think about your stroke, you get good turns because you're not hurrying. Everything you can think about so nicely. So even if you're not going to international things, that's a good one to aim for, that bonnet distance meet. And it sounds as if I'm saying bonnet, 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 but they are brilliant people. They know what we need and they give it to us. We got that distance meet, we got the sprint meet, and then up here there's another one I'll talk about. They actually do another one at the end of September. Three weeks after the sprint meet. Oh, that's the Southern Counties. That's the Southern Counties, not the bonnet club themselves. But it's actually at bonnet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the inter-counties. There's lots of others. But um, if you want to swim in Southern Counties or Midland District, well, that was Midland District, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, Southern Counties is open to people from everywhere. Then we're thinking about, this is a peak here. Uh, it's sort of the very end of October, usually. And that is the ASA Masters. And it has been and should be for a while in Sheffield. Now, if you want to see a state of the art after this, <laughs> this is about the best. It really is beautiful. But Sheffield is really, really fast, and they've got the whole works, 1,500 down to 50s, and all strokes, 50 to 200, and all the medleys. And you'll see the best people in Britain swimming there. It's, uh, it's an exciting meet. The reason why it's a fast meet is <laughs> Well, that's interesting. <laughs> it's also the right depth. And uh, it's got good sides. It's, it's, it's a very interesting week, but you have to feel 
confident in yourself. It's quite scary. And the poolside is horrible. It's slippery. I've got to say that I walk like a cat. And I'm quite <laughs> now we get November. This one is Barnet 1500. And they do it twice. Once there and once early in December. And that's a really interesting swim. Because some people think, oh, gee, 1500. But you probably do that in training with no problem at all. It's only four four hundreds and take off one. <laughs>
and he's tickled pink, and so am I, because he isn't really just a boy, you know, he looks like one, but you get to 40, you've been there a little while, and to find you've improved at that stage, uh, it's great. Sorry, you said you do the, the, the swim breast. Um, what length of time would that take? So the, time, the time you've taken to do your 248, oh, all of that. <coughs> the whole of the 248, mm -hmm. whatever it was that took you, you might be ever so fast, then you don't get an awful lot of <laughs> resting time. If you do it at a longer time, so it takes you a longer time to do the swim, you take a longer time to have the rest. But you never stay still when you're resting, you keep moving. Even if it's only to start off with doing some sculling on your back, that's what I like to <laughs> He goes off with his butterfly and oh, I'm just going to do a bit on my back here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's important. Um, let's see what my notes here. Oh yeah, I, I've been trying to do what I've been listening to, the, the people who are experts. Uh, they work now in cycles, micro cycles, macro cycles. Um, I have found that about a 12 week cycle, divided up into about three micro cycles, has been comfortable for us. It may depend on how many times a, a week you get to swim. Because um, if you divide 12 weeks into three, that's four weeks per micro cycle. If you only swim once a week, <laughs> that's a bit difficult to make changes. But the idea is that you build up the speed to a peak, I should use one hand, and then you come to the end of that and you start again. So that was your micro cycle. You build up, starting with longish swims, <coughs> quite short <coughs> rests. Apart, and rests don't mean sitting down necessarily, they can mean those backstroke swims. Um, you only do that, that um, what do you call it, uh, <laughs> the, the real tough stuff, uh, once every two or three weeks. Because you really wear yourself, no, the uh, supersets, supersets. Even kids, you can wear yourself out a bit. You also need to do quite a lot of the other strokes. Something that I had uh, earlier here was when you are doing your warm-up or when you're planning your whole sessions, make sure that you cover all the strokes. Even if you don't like breaststroke and you've got a problem with your legs, do some breaststroke pulling with a dolphin kick. If you don't like butterfly because you've got something wrong with your back, you can still do breaststroke arms and maybe with a crawl kick. Or you can lie on your back and do breaststroke kicking. It's very good for your lungs. It gives you a lovely chest too. <laughs> <laughs> Try to put plenty of variety in. You have to do plenty of the other strokes. I quite like to do a chunk of crawl and a bit of medley. And the medley doesn't mean necessarily a 4 by one IM. It can just be one of the other strokes. Or it could be half a length of fly and a whatever. Whatever suits you. But try to have variety in the stroke. Variety in the pace variety in the distance. So when you're doing those supersets, that's a sort of set distance. Another day you might just say, well, I'll have a crack at that 1500. Try and find out what time it takes you, because it is interesting. Because you know, if you don't know what time it takes you to do anything, you never know if you've improved. But now and again, a 1500 or a, a T30, that's a 30 minute swim, and you try and count how many lengths, if you can, that you've done in that time. There's various alterations, variations on the theme that you must try to adjust to suit yourself. 